Next tonight here, one of the world's largest cruise ships rocked by hurricane force winds, damaged by huge waves, gusts more than 100 miles an hour. Americans locked in their cabins. ABC's Steve Osinsami now on the ship forced to turn around. Oh my God. <laughs> this was supposed to be a relaxing vacation. Instead, the thousands sailing Royal Caribbean from New Jersey to the Bahamas this weekend came away with these pictures, saying it looked like a hurricane. The amount that things were shifting around our room was a little frightening. Families recorded the giant crashing waves on their cell phones. Furniture went flying and glass shattered. The captain ordered 4,500 passengers and 1,600 crew members to stay in their rooms for hours. Four people were hurt, but not badly. Peter Lupus, still on board tonight, blames the captain. I really resent the fact that he put 6,000 people's lives at risk, uh, taking us into a storm that was predicted. As early as Wednesday, the forecast was for 30-foot waves and near hurricane force winds. In a statement today, Royal Caribbean apologized to passengers and turned the ship back to New Jersey due to weather forecasted for the next few days. Tonight, the cruise line is promising passengers a full refund and more, but their vacations are ruined. David? Steve, thank you.